I'm not sure if I can narrate and film this, but I'll give it a go. So here's my 1985 R80 RT Mono, which I've had for some years. I'll check the, I'll check my paperwork and see how many years I've had it, but I'm not a dealer that's bought something to make a few quid. This uh, bike has been with me for a long time and we've ridden it. It's spent its whole life in France since I bought it, and Italy, in fact. I only brought it back to the UK to sell. So, these come with it. The panniers. There's an LED in there. Uh, everything works. It's got a long MOT. Clean and tidy. All the oil's been done. However, I'm supplying with it a uh, an oil filter and rings and kit because if you're like me you don't trust anybody everybody's a liar and I would change the oil anyway carbs rebuilt both of them uh, and fitted with these manually operated chokes because the cables were just a pain and you could never guarantee they always went home with these you can I mean they're either open or they're closed new filters new hoses New valve guides, all this was done last week in fact, hence the tidiness of the, these, I can absolutely assure you that the threads on the heads are perfect. It's the 12th of October and you can see here the threads are absolutely spot on, all clean and tidy here. And if you put the appropriate spanner on these they'll come off without a hitch. Stainless exhaust, been there when I got it. New inlet rubbers there, both sides. A new battery, in there. new rubber at the top of the reservoir, and o ring where the reservoir sits on the body, and kit on the uh, master cylinder piston. New progressive springs. That's why I took it all apart in the first place to change the springs. And yesterday I put seven and a half weight oil in. I got rid of the new brand new 10. It was just too heavy for English roads. I mean, it's all right in the real world on the continent, but over in this third world country, it's really uncomfortable. You can see the condition here. New gaiters. What the hell's he doing? Huh. New rubber here. Inox machine screws. I didn't glue this down. Um, I figured if the buyer wants to, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> he can. <laughs> and I haven't fitted this rubber um, because quite frankly I didn't see the point but it'll come with the bike, brand new one new plugs not the resistor type you're not supposed to have the resistor type this I fitted new but it's not connected uh, I simply can't work out how to get the cable in there Onto that, I'm sure somebody can take, take all this apart, perhaps. See here. I'm assuming we're auto focusing here. God, I hope so. See the mileage? That's a authentic, totally authentic. Ah. Fuel cocks, they were taken apart, cleaned, rebuilt with new parts. Fitted a new stainless connecting rod for the shift. Seat reupholstered.
And I guess I should start it, shouldn't I? That would be prudent. It's stone cold, so I'll give it some choke. I won't give it some choke. I'll close them and I'll see if I can use the throttle. <laughs> Stone cold. But... Oh, and the fuel's turned off. <laughs> so, as little else I can say, rebuilt carbs, new valve guides, new throttle cable, new clutch cable. Um, new fuel filters, new fuel hose, new springs, and so on. <laughs>